Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the thicken tool in Onshape. The thicken tool is used to thicken a surface uh, and it can be used on open shapes that we create with different tools like the line tool, uh, the curve tools or spline tool, uh, rather than uh, closed shapes. So we can take a surface uh, from a, a that's been extruded from a, an open shape and thicken it. So let's have a look at an example. So what I'll do is I'll just draw on the top plane here. So I'm going to sketch, select the top plane to sketch on, and then I'll press the N key just to go uh, and look at that plane uh, front on. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, we can create an open shape. So one that's not, it doesn't have closed lines, it's not a sealed shape. So I could use the line tool, um, these arc tools or uh, the spline tool. I'll use the spline tool for this one. So just click on spline tool and then you can just click to create uh, a, a curved line. Just like that. And once you're done, you just hit escape and uh, that will finish off the line for you. Okay, so just click the green tick there. And so now we have uh, a a line there uh, or a spline uh, created with that tool. All right, now what I'll do is I'll use the extrude tool and uh, I'll click on surface instead of solid and I'll select this sketch from before and then I can just extrude it to uh, whatever I like. So let's go with 50 millimeters and just click the green tick when we're done. Okay, so here we have a surface um, from an, an open shape uh, that's been extruded. Now this surface, uh, it has no thickness at all, right? zero thickness. So we set a depth, uh, but there's, there's no thickness at all to this, this surface. All right, so uh, what we can do now is uh, take this surface and give it some thickness using the thicken tool. So the thicken tool is up here on the toolbar. We'll click on that. Uh, and then we choose the faces or surfaces that we want to thicken. So we'll select that surface that we created and straight away you can see it thickens uh, to whatever amount is set in this box here. So if I wanted, uh, it's five millimeters at the moment, I could make that a bit thicker. All right, and um, we can see that now it's got a thickness there of 10 millimeters. All right, now, this is just in one direction, but we can uh, change that if we want. So I might set this back to five millimeters uh, and I might uh, set the thickness in another direction, in the opposite direction as well. So now it's five millimeters going out uh, from both sides of that surface. And you could do this to make one side uh, thicker than the other if you wanted, like that. All right, so now we've got uh, the side closest to us is five millimeters thick and the opposite side is 10 millimeters thick. So that's the thicken tool. Uh, and then we can just um, click the green tick once we're happy there. Now you'll see over here in the parts list, we've got that part that's been uh, just created from that surface, but we can actually see that we've got the original surface there as well still. All right, uh, which will come in handy. So what we can do is we can click on the thicken tool again, and we can go over to remove and um, we can choose that surface. So if I didn't already click on it, I could click here and, and make sure that I selected that surface uh, that's in the middle of uh, this shape. And uh, again, we can set which direction we want to uh, remove. And we've got two directions there that we can specify, but we need to specify the merge scope and that's the part that we've created from this surface. So you can just click on the part in the parts list Make sure, whoop, make sure you click on merge scope first and then select the part. And there we go. It's uh, removed. I've only removed one direction, but we can see there now that uh, the middle of this shape has now been removed. Okay, and we could, if we wanted to, we could increase the thickness a little bit. Uh, but at the moment, it's just going in one direction. So if we wanted, we could do it in one direction and we could do... Uh, maybe a little bit more in another direction. All right, and we've still got that original surface there, which we can hide if we didn't want to see it. All right, but I'll just set that to one direction now. Oops. 
and that's it. All right, again, we can see that blue surface there. That can be hidden if we like, um, but the surface is still there, uh, which is good because we can still work with that if we want to remove or add uh, to that thickness. All right, so this tool is actually quite, uh, quite useful. It's useful when you have uh, shapes like this, where you have different curves and um, different radius for, for different curves or arcs, uh, because you can easily get uh, a nice uh, consistent thickness to the shape, which would be a little bit tricky to achieve if we were just using the extrude tool uh, on its own. So it's easier to work with um, shapes like this, curved, curved shapes, because we can get consi consistent thickness all the way around the shape, um, which is a bit harder to get with the um, extrude tool. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.